Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It's New Year's Eve, and I'm hoping to start the new year with wellness. Because at the moment, I'm just getting over a sore throat, which has now transpired into more of a, a mucusy, chesty... It's it's not nice, I, I won't describe it to any of you. But I'm on a lot of cough-based syrups and medicines and lozenges and anything I can lay my hands on to get myself fighting fit again and making quality content. At the moment, with a couple of days to go, I've really got to smash into my chill challenges. As you can see, I've got 25 of the gadgets remaining, so I'm going to have to spend these. But I wanted to bring you guys along, not for the full 25 grind. I was thinking of doing a live stream, but my throat will not survive that. But, however, I want to give you what I got as a result from it. For this video, I'll be grinding out the epic difficulty. Each time, it's statistically more likely for you to see the 250 five-star shards come out from each chest that you get. So, what does that look like in the scheme of things? Well, it should seem fairly likely that I'll get around about 6,250 five-star shards. If I get more five-star shards, great. If I get tier two alpha fragments, great. But if I get a load of them, then that's even better. And the same thing for tier five basic catalyst fragments. So, let's see if that transpires in the same way. And before getting into grinding it out, as you can see here, I have 60,000 five-star shards. In my mailbox, I've got something from then and now to open, which is going to be done in a further video. As you can see, I'm still yet to claim the 4,000. And as well, I'm 5,000 fragments away from a fully formed tier 5 basic catalyst. And I've got 21,456 tier 2 alpha fragments. And without further ado, let's get a grind on. So there we have it, that has been 25 runs. Now the question is, what did I get from this? And why it's very interesting is to compare what is on offer for you to get out of the epic difficulty chests as to what I actually took home. More commonly, I was picking up 255 star shards 19 times, which isn't exactly great if you consider what was on offer. And also there was five opportunities to pick up tier two alpha, resulting in 5,000 tier two alpha fragments going back into my inventory. And finally, we had one run which picked up 1,000 tier five basic catalyst fragments. It's still good to pick up some randomized things, but it was a little bit disappointing not to see anything of value over the 255 star shards. And if we compare what we took home against what was on offer, it does make us feel a little bit disappointed, especially because there's 1,000, 2,500 five-star shard pulls on offer. And it would be nice to see something like a drop rate for those chests, just to make me feel a little bit reassured that obviously there's something attributed to it, like saying, okay, so there's an 80% chance you'll get five-star shards, a 5% chance you could get tier two alpha, uh, you know, the list goes on with how that should be broken down. Kabam are doing drop rates quite regularly at the moment with crystals. It just would be nice to see something represented in this. And yes, it's good to see other players getting those top rewards from them, from the grind. But as we've seen, 25 runs didn't get us anything more than 255 star shards, tier 2 alpha fragments, and just that one run with a tier 5 basic catalyst on offer. Even though that it might feel that I'm being quite critical over the developer, I would like to point out that these are five star shards as well as tier two alpha fragments and to a lesser degree the tier five basic catalyst that I wouldn't have got at all if Kabam didn't run this event this month. So thank you to Kabam for giving this stuff theoretically for free. 
but I thought this was very interesting to collect together a full run and what I got from each of those runs. As you can see, 25 runs were completed and more commonly we're getting five star shards of 250 variety. But how did they drop for you guys? Was it more commonly that you got certain things like the 1,000 or 2,500 five star shards? It would be interesting to find out from you. So what I've done, I've put in a poll in this video just to get an idea of what you are more commonly getting. Please answer the most honestly as possible because we'll feature it in Marvel Contest of Champions news for next year, as in the first or second of January 2019. Happy New Year, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for Marvel Contest of Champions based content. Make sure to share as well with the community. That will be really helpful for the channel. And let's smash 2019. Put a positive frame of mind in, put some jobs on a list that you want to achieve and go do it because you can do it. I've been Rich the Man and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.